Hello everyone and welcome. I have teamed up with Dodge for the Dodge Horsepower Challenge where they are giving away five Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eyes over five weeks and it is week number four. To enter, go to dodgehorsepowerchallenge.com and this week's question is, how much horsepower would a Hellcat Red Eye need in order to tow the SS Delphine up the Davis Dam grade climb? So ultimately we need to calculate power and power is a function of force multiplied by velocity. We know velocity, we're traveling up this grade at 40 miles per hour. You're gonna to need to convert that into feet per second. So we need to calculate the force. And the force is the sum of the resistive forces acting against this entire system. So we of course have the force of rolling resistance, we have the force of aerodynamic drag, and we have the force of gravity trying to pull this entire system down that grade. So in order to calculate these forces, first of all, we need to know the angle of the grade. So we know it's a 7% grade at its steepest point, so that's the point we're going to analyze. And we need to convert this into degrees. So you can either use the internet and find out what that quick conversion is, or you can do the math. Tangent of theta is equal to seven divided by 100. That seven over 100 is your 7%. And that will give you your theta in degrees. Now with this angle, there are two things we want to calculate. The normal force in order to calculate the force of rolling resistance, and then also the force of gravity. So your normal force is equal to the weight of the system, which in this case is 4,076,451 pounds. That's the weight of the car plus the boat plus the trailer. And you're multiplying that by cosine of theta, which we just calculated. That will give you your normal force. Calculating the force of gravity, this component right here, we want the weight of the system multiplied by sine of theta. So that gives us our force of gravity. That's the first one we're calculating here. Next is the force of rolling resistance, which is the normal force multiplied by the coefficient of rolling resistance. We calculated that normal force right there. And then finally, we're calculating the force of drag, which is one half rho v squared CDA. And we have all of these variables here. So there's rho, uh, our velocity, which again, you have to convert two feet per second, and the combined CDA, which is 1,555 feet squared. And so plug all that in, sum all these forces together, that gives you your F, multiply F by velocity, and then we're going to have our power figure. And then the final step is to divide that by 550 in order to get our power figure into units of horsepower. You can then submit your answer at dodgehorsepowerchallenge.com. Good luck.